Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Dr. Carmen Bryant with Court Chronicles. How you guys doing? You ready? Listen, some of you guys have been in these abusive relationships, situationships, because they're not relationships, for a very, very long time. You, you know, hope is the last thing to go. And you're hoping that if you expose the person, if you tell on this person, if you go to therapy, that the person is going to change. Some people don't go to therapy for them to change personally, because when you start changing, when you start thinking and changing the way that you think, you're not going to tolerate a lot of things. Remember the other video did go check that out. Uh, But you're not going to tolerate a lot of things. But some of you guys, and I hate to see this because, um, you know, I've been watching videos even on um, TikTok, on YouTube, where People um, have waited too long. They expose their abusers on TikTok and on Facebook, on social media, showing them where they're being beaten, showing them where they're being abused uh, in hopes that the, you know, that the abuser would say, oh, you know what? My behavior is wrong and you've exposed me, so I'm going to change. What that does is infuriate them because of the fact that they are being embarrassed and humiliated. And especially if you're dealing with a narcissist, you're calling a nar- you're causing a narcissistic injury because you are messing with their ego, you're messing with their reputation, and they're building their reputation by the the lies and the facade that they create, the mass that they create. Some of you guys won't get help because you want help. You're seeking help because you're trying to figure out how to make the other person change. You're trying to figure out if I expose them, if I tell on them. What is that going to do? All it's going to do is infuriate them. All it's going to do is make them abuse you even more. You have to make up your mind to leave. And for those of you that are domestic violence advocates, I have worked with uh, a lot of uh, advocates. Uh, I really applaud my my sister, my friend, Miss Bridget uh, Griffin, who is in the Seattle area here in the state of Washington. And then, of course, Miss Bridget Gibson, who you usually see on the uh, social media platforms. Uh, people like Miss Karen uh, Smith, who is um, Cluster B Free. And then you do have her uh, a good friend of hers, Miss Pat, uh, with Aunt Pat. But these advocates here, they are are bulldogs and that's what you need when you're looking for an advocate you don't need an advocate that is passive now i'm not saying you want an advocate to go in the courtroom and fight the narcissist or fight the abuser you you have to the advocate has to be wise enough to know how far to go and uh, you know especially if you're having to go to the home or if you're away from the home and the things that they get they an advocate has to be able to think ahead has to think ahead of because you're in the middle of it so you need a third person that can think outside because you're emotionally attached and emotionally involved and so you need an advocate that is not afraid to fight, that is not afraid to open up their mouth. You don't need a passive advocate in court. You don't need a because even the lawyers will abuse when they when they're defending a, a uh, an abuser or a narcissist that is paying them well. And so the the lawyers become abusive. But you'll need a a passive advocate. Some of you guys get out, get out when you can.